Hello and welcome to my F123 My Team Lamborghini Career Mode here today for part 63 for the Portuguese Grand Prix and what will be a very wet Portuguese Grand Prix as you can see from the rain falling here in Portimao but before we go racing we need to do a bit of housekeeping as the FIA have announced a regulation change for next season to the aero we've been saving some R&D points so I've managed to save some some of the big ones because I thought that was more relevant than the minor ones so there is that as well also we're going to be starting stone dead last for the Grand Prix as we're going to take a new turbo so this is the grid though for the Grand Prix it's Hamilton on pole and Leclerc P2 then it's George and Tail Petrae great qualifying for him then Science and Factory Bottas Max and Lando Stroll and Joe round out the top 10 then it's Piastri and Dennis Hauger Ocon and Gasly Sinoda and Liam Lawson, Fittipaldi and Alex Albon, Sargent and Nick De Vries, and it is Magnussen alongside us. So we're here on the grid then that has pretty much been a copy and paste of what happened here last season in Portimao where we started stone dead last that day. It was a bit more sunny that day though like it was as you can see here in qualifying where we did actually put it on pole like we did last season but if we can win from the back again I'm not sure not in these conditions it's meant to rain though for the entire Grand Prix so let's go to it then the five red lights are on they're out and we're racing for the penultimate time this season we we're all very slow off the line as we try and find the grip we're gonna go to the inside of the house we're gonna try and go down the inside we're gonna break very late we've bounced over the curb but we've had to give those positions back so we've had to lift give it back to the Alpine both Alpines in fact and that's, that's going to allow us to be dive bombed by a Saban Ocon at the inside Alpine not making contact like they did last season we're going to go back round the inside we're past our teammate already we've gained a lot of places on the start you can see there as we go into this very tricky corner and we're gonna go sailing around the outside of Esteban Ocon he dive bombed us at the inside we're gonna have him around the outside and then down the inside of the Alfa Romeo we go off track we're now very much under steering but we've got away now we're on the back of the McLaren can we get the job done down the inside yes we can we've had a great hour up into P11 is now the Alfa Romeo he's trying to go around the outside of the McLaren but we can get away we've gained 11 positions on this opening lap it's lap 2 now we're on the back of Dennis Hauger in his Alfa Tari can we dispatch him very quickly we are as we send it laid up the inside into turn 3 next up is Lando Norris in the McLaren we're into the top 10 just two laps into the Grand Prix now though this is going back Lando Norris down the inside we go managed not to go lock up go straight on we're past now we're right behind Lance Stroll can we get the job done quick on him as we're gonna have to wait we thought about it up the inside now can we get the exit to maybe sweep round the outside no we're a little bit too far back but that's given us a great exit we're gonna swap in the dummy and now go sailing round the outside and up into p8 next up is the red bull of valtteri bottas then now can we overtake the red bull we were now got a bit stuck in a way we were struggling a bit now to get past Bottas but we've dispatched him down the inside we've caught him napping as he really need really then nearly went straight into the back of us but now this is where we started to struggle we were really struggling to get off the final corner to have a go into turn one and we just couldn't find a way past Max Verstappen but in lap seven we finally got close to him but he defends us and we stay behind we just couldn't get close enough alongside him to have a go we were just stuck at this point in the Grand Prix after making a lot of positions at the start we were cruising carving our way through but this is what I mean we just couldn't get off the final corner look at the gap 
that Max has brought out to us and it's meant that we have kind of fell back into Bottas now going down the pit straight we were really struggling at that final corner is Bottas going to try and get past now into turn one I think he's too far back lap eight now we're on the back of Max for stepping as, as Mark states the obvious of what I'm trying to do of course I'm using the overtake button but here we go you can see here we're just running wide and just can't get off the final corner you can see the time Max gains on us and that's the worst part of the track because it just meant that we couldn't have a go into the first corner we couldn't even have a go into turn three we were just stuck but this time we did get it right further around the lap we were going to try and get creative with Max we tried to go around the outside now they're off that corner if we go up the hill we've got a great exit and we're alongside him to the inside we go Max holds it around the outside we now have the outside line Max is going to defend the inside but we've used the actual traction that we have on these sides we're finally not staring at the back of that red ball and up into P6 and next up the road is Carlos Sainz but Max isn't finished with us yet because he's going to go to the outside but he's too far back now they can we get after the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz this is Lewis Hamilton in cruise control two and a half seconds up the road in the lead of the Grand Prix as now he goes over the brow of the hill and he's pulling off he's slowing down it's all over for Lewis Hamilton from the lead of the Grand Prix we're on the back now of Carlos Sainz we're going to try and do to Sainz what we did to Verstappen we're going to try and go to the inside but briefly ahead Sainz swoops round the outside and we have to live to fight another day and back out of that one and then we just put it get the exit have to go into the next corner there is Lewis Hamilton off and out of the Grand Prix now that we've, we've ran quite wide once again at the final corner Max now has allowed us to get up the inside of us he, he's backed out of it he can't get further enough alongside lap for 11 Sainz and Verstappen are in to make their first stop of the day is it going to be the one and only stop of the day it was a one stopper that's what we're doing so now on their fresh inters a where will, will they come out in the clean air as we were now being left defensive to bot us because we couldn't find a way past Taylor Pacher in his Aston Martin to get on to P2 in the Grand Prix Leclerc now leads following Hamilton's retirement and this was the widest Aston Martin I have ever seen we just couldn't get past him we were doing what we were doing with Max just couldn't get off the final corner to have a go into the first corner and that was hurting us we were just having to get creative but this time lap 14 we're finally past the Aston Martin now can we get after Charles Leclerc meantime though we have lost a lot of time to Sainz and Verstappen after they boxed three laps ago on lap 11 now they lap 15 we've gone four extra laps than Sainz and Verstappen we're ultimately going to lose a lot of time but we should have the tyre life to catch them back up and also have can we try and undercut Leclerc because we did start to catch and we pulled two seconds on Prochair after we overtook him we're going to go on to our fresh set of inters and now where is Sainz and Verstappen there's Sainz and Verstappen they're already through turn one there is Lando Norris as well he's jumped us we're out of the pits but now it is game on can we get up to the back of the Ferrari and the Red Bull once more we've lost out to Verstappen ultimately losing out to Sainz as well lot of time gone there as this is Leclerc from the lead of the Grand Prix net lead we're gonna sail around the outside now he chops us off we're on the outside we're side by side we're now gonna go to the inside this is for the net lead of the Grand Prix as to the inside we go Leclerc holds it to the inside but we have the extra grip as his tyres are not up to temperature to sweep around the outside of him and get past now though where 
really George is in the fight as well here so if it's game on now to catch Verstappen and sign still as we get past Lando Norris to the inside they've gone very early of course they have Sainz and Verstappen but now we should have the much fresher tyres to catch them because here we've gone purple in the middle sector and we were just sticking with them with two and a half seconds behind them we've pulled two and a half seconds on Lando Norris Norris really holding up Leclerc Leclerc just couldn't find a way past as now we've got the fastest lap as well as we head down the pit straight lap 22 though George Russell in the lead is pitting they're two stopping is George Russell and he's thrown away the lead for a fresh set of intermediate tyres and there's Sainz and Max Verstappen is coming in as well and that has gifted us the lead of the Portuguese Grand Prix it is deja vu from last season starting last carving our way through now we find ourselves in the lead of the Grand Prix but George does come out in clean air it'll be the same for Sainz and Verstappen but now with 10 laps to go as Sainz just gets out ahead of the Alpine but Max Verstappen is behind Pierre Gasly and now that's a one more overtake that, that Verstappen did not want to make but how quick are those fresh intermediate tyres going to be compared to Bottas and Cleo Pacher and Leclerc as well to George Russell to retake the lead of the Grand Prix because at this point in time we were in cruise control 5.2 seconds up the road from Charles Leclerc Mark telling us that it that we're thinking about drives and we're also 45 seconds at the road from our teammate lap 29 lap 32 George now is finally caught the back of Bottas and it took him a long while to find his way through lap 32 and he's passed and Mercedes have thrown away the win here it's now as he goes for it on Teo Pacheco as we lap Nick De Vries on the final lap of what has been a dramatic Grand Prix he's caught at the back of Pacheco you can see the extra speed and grip he has but he just couldn't find a way through and he's not going to find a way through on Pacheco in one lap because that Aston Martin is as wide as the entire track but lap 33 the final lap as we get to the end of the final sector into the final corner we lock up we go a bit wide but last season we started last and won the Portuguese Grand Prix this time we've been a bit more tricky and a bit more lucky but we started last it's deja vu it's coffee and paste we would win the Portuguese Grand Prix oh, fantastic drive that's just fantastic amazing you deserve that race win well done mate that's a spectacular victory then and with it the championship is secure been a magnificent season and they thoroughly deserve the cheers of the crowd here today so Natalie what made the difference out there today well I think what impresses me most is just how the drivers hold their focus and nerve with these massive rain delays and this changeable forecast you've got to be out there on track feeling and looking for the grip and know when it's right to switch compounds A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. So that's been a very 
very dramatic Portuguese Grand Prix. It's deja vu from last season. We started last and we won the race. This time though, was a bit more lucky. Would we have had the pace to catch George Sainz and Verstappen anyway to win the race? Probably not. Not George. We could have definitely still got on the podium though. But we take another win. And our first win as a three-time world champion after winning the championship last time out in Brazil. Mercedes though have thrown away a win really twice there with the DNF with Hamilton and the extra pit stop with George. It's a great race for Teo Pacera as well. Well deserved podium for him. He's driven a great race out there. He made that Aston Martin a very, very wide. Oscar Piastri though, it's another non-score for him. P13. We're bored of this now. I've started last and won the race and we overtook him on the first lap as well he needs to sort this out he's got one more chance this season to prove to me why he should keep that seat at the back though lewis hamilton from the lead the one and only retirement of the grand prix and nick de Vries was the only car to be lapped we lapped him on the final lap and we weren't far off lapping logan Sargent, but he is the last finisher who finished on the lead lap the championship then we now have a 90 point lead over george russell it's all wrapped up but the battle behind us for p2 in the drivers world championships one point in it between the two mercedes and then 10 points back from george russell is max verstappen so the championship battle the best of the rest down in abu dhabi is going to be very very interesting next time out for the grand finale of the season down at the back though oscar piastri p9 only scoring 72 points this season has is still not scored a point they've got one more chance this season so the constructors then and the gap now is 20 points between us and mercedes so it will be title decider for not only p2 in the drivers but for the constructors as well 20 points is a lot to overhaul with one more race to go and essentially on my own because Piastri has been absolutely shocking this season but it's gonna be hard to win this constructors championship now how strong Mercedes have been 20 points is a big margin to overhaul Haas though the one and only team still yet to score a point this season but that's been your very dramatic Portuguese Grand Prix starting at stone dead last the last to first challenge is complete we've got one more round this season can we round off our third world championship winning season with another win to round out the season we will have to find out when we go to Abu Dhabi for the grand finale of the season I'll see you then goodbye